Welcome back friends. This is Lina from British Academy. In our previous videos, we have discussed about arithmetic progressions and also we have solved examples on arithmetic progressions. Here in this presentation, we are going to learn about geometric progressions. So first, let us consider a few sequences. Here we have considered three examples. In the first example, we observe that the first term is 2 and the second term here we have as 4. It is obtained just by multiplying 2 to the first term. And similarly, we have the third term as 8 and it is obtained just by multiplying 2 with the second term. Now, observe the second example. In the second example, we have the first term as minus 1 by 3 and second term is here 1 by 9. And it is just obtained by multiplying minus 1 by 3 to the first term. And similarly, the next term would be obtained just by multiplying minus 1 by 3 to the previous term. So, in each of these sequences, we observe that all the other terms are obtained just by multiplying a constant number to the previous term. So, such sequence, we call it as geometric progressions. So, in geometric progressions, the ratio of each term except the first one to the preceding term is a constant number and this constant number is called as a common ratio and it is denoted by R. So, let us say if first term is A and the common ratio is R, then the series takes the form of a comma ar comma ar square and so on where the value of a is not equal to 0. So we have the nth term of the geometric progressions as r into tn minus 1 where r value is not equal to 0. That is nothing but we get here r value just by transferring tn minus 1 to the other side. So we get this as r is equal to tn divided by tn minus 1. Now, let us consider an example over here. So, here we have a geometric progression minus 2 divided by 3, comma minus 6, comma minus 54 and so on. Here the first term which is nothing but a is given as minus 2 by 3 and the second term is minus 6. So, the common ratio would be here, the ratio between any two terms. So, let us consider t2 divided by t1. So, the second term is here minus 6 divided by the first term which is given as minus 2 divided by 3. So, on reciprocaling the denominator, we get minus 6 into 3 divided by minus 2. On simplifying, this would come as minus 2 1 time is 2 and minus 2 3 times is minus 6. So, on multiplying here 3 and 3, we get the value as 9 and 9 is nothing but here the common ratio. So, this was a basic introduction on geometric progressions. Hope you understood the concept. In our next coming up videos, we are going to solve more examples on the same concept. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.